What's going on guys, Cisco here with that West Coast Mechanic Channel at Mid-South Automotive here in Louisiana. Today I'm going to be doing a VVT on a 2011 Nissan Altima. So first things first, when you're doing it, we got to remove this mount. This mount is held in by this bolt that goes in the block. This bolt that slides down here. And if you see this, there's a cross member kind of thing that sits here. What I do is I take these two bolts out, which are 13 millimeter, take those two out, I take a pry bar, and I just lift up on it easily, and that will allow me to slide this bolt out. This mount will go in kind of a little crooked, and then you just kind of play with it and it'll fit back in there. So I already took that out. Next thing I gotta do is the VVT is actually right here and it's held in by a 10 millimeter bolt. What I'm going to use is going to be a quarter inch ratchet, quarter inch extension, and my Duralast 10 millimeter. Let's get this thing to focus. My Duralast 10 millimeter magnet socket to take the bolt out. All right, so what I do is I get my 10 millimeter down here. Let's see if I can get it there. It's actually right there with my socket by hand i take it out get that off the magnet comes in very 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 helpful now what i gotta do is i gotta pry this vvt out Let's see if i can do this with the camera on i'll just use a pry bar see if i can get it in that little space and give a little twist and work it out gotta get it past that o-ring just like that my hand down here and now I just pull that thing right out just like that now this is the VVT we're gonna switch out out with the old back in with the new make sure you loop up this o-ring make sure you loop up this o-ring right here alrighty now we got the new VVT installed all we gotta do is down there get that clip plug it in and she's good to go we're gonna put it all back together start it up clear the codes and see what happens